here we are with the flash snowfall effect provided by masterflash.net this is uh, only a sample video showing you bits and pieces of what you can find in the actual tutorial located on masterflash.net uh, what we're going to do right here is we're going to drop you in at the very beginning of the tutorial let it roll out for about 10 minutes and then uh, we'll drop the very end of it on you so you can check out see what it looks like as uh, a finished project all right and uh, you can also see the finished version of this on masterflash.net as well. All right, let's create some snowfall. And while you guys check out my funny looking uh, snowflake, I'll go ahead and explain a couple things to you. If uh, you want to use these movie clips, I've got some progress files set up inside of the source files that you downloaded. All right. Basically, I've got this set up so you can work inside of the folder if you extract the entire folder. Uh, now, you can find the movie clips in here, all right? Now there should be a part one finished also. I don't think there's gonna be a part two to this. This should only take about an hour, all right? And uh, this over here is the original file that I'm gonna be using throughout the tutorial. Now by the time you get these, you'll also see some of my notes and stuff like that in here somewhere. All right, so let's go ahead and get rocking. Okay, this big one doesn't really matter. This is basically just what I sketched in about five seconds. All right, so I'm gonna delete that off the stage. Now these little ones are what's important. So if I zoom in on this, you can see that there's really not much difference here, all right, other than I basically, for the little snowflake, I took the stroke out, okay? So if you take a look at that, you can just see that there's no strokes in there, all right? And really, there's no prep for this, although we need to grab one of these snowflakes and convert them into a movie clip. So I'm just going to hit F8, all right? I'm going to call this snow, all right, movie clip, registration doesn't matter, export for action script. And we need to make sure that our class down here says snow. As far as the base class goes, movie clip is good. Anything other than that really doesn't matter. But if we hit OK, all right, we need to make sure that this set us up for linkage inside of our action script, which it did. Looks good. All right, so we can get rid of this snow movie clip right here. All right, I'm just going to delete that. And this next one really is just the little snowflake, okay? And the setup for this is real simple. I'm just going to take this movie clip, I'm going to copy it, paste it over, copy it again, paste it over, so I have uh, three little snowflakes on the stage here. All right, so I'm going to move that back off here. And what we need to do is we need to take all three of these and convert them into a movie clip. So go ahead and convert that into a symbol by hitting F8. I'm going to call this snow underscore holder. All right, movie clip. No need for exporting and registration is fine. Just go ahead and hit OK. So once you set that up, what we need to do is give this an instance name of snow holder. All right, basically this is the movie clip that we're going to generate all of our um, animations from. Okay, so once you have that set up, what we need to do next is double click inside of this movie clip we just created. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert three layers down here. All right, on this uh, first one, or on this first layer, I'm going to take off two of these, cut. All right, I'm going to come up to this top one. I'm going to paste in place. Okay, I'm going to take the middle one out, cut this off, and put the middle one on the middle layer, paste it in place. All right, so we basically have uh, one, two, and three. All right, let's go ahead and call these snow one slow rate snow 2 medium rate and snow 3 all right so ultimately when we have this set up with our animations we're going to refer to these uh, to basically create this first one to be slow the second one a medium and this third one the, a faster speed of fall all right or of snowfall, I guess. So the next thing that we need to do is basically add some timeline down here. All right, so I'm gonna come out to about 150. Okay, with all three layers, I'm just gonna insert a frame. All right, once I have that set up, I'm gonna come out in this middle layer and on the top layer, come out to about 250. Okay, I'm gonna insert some more frame. And on this very top layer, I'm gonna come out to about 350 and insert another frame. Now we'll probably come back and change this up a little bit, all right, but this is a good starting point. Okay, so what we need to do is come back up to the front, and go ahead and right click on the fast rate layer, create motion tween, 
grab the medium rate layer, right click, create motion tween, grab the slow rate layer, create motion tween, and what we need to do now is basically come out to the end of the fast rate layer, all right, at the last frame on here, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, all right, and basically drag it down to the bottom of the stage. So if I take this here, I'm just going to drag this down, and I'm going to move it a little bit to the right so it kind of comes down at an angle, all right? Now, once we do that, we basically have our guide set up here, and if you roll your mouse over it, you can kind of see that, you know, you get the little symbol on your mouse arrow or your pointer arrow that's sort of curved, which allows us to click down and drag it out to the right just a little bit, all right? So go ahead and do that. And we're going to do that for all three of these. So just go ahead and uh, come down to the next one. All right. Just going to grab that here. Okay. Again, I'm going to drag this all the way down. All right. I'm going to move it to the right a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to come back up on here, click down on this, slide it to the right a little bit so it creates a little bit of a bend. And I'm going to do that to our last one as well. Just gonna come up top, grab this, click and drag it down. Just going to uh, bend this out a little bit. All right, so once you have those set up, the only thing that we're gonna do now is go into our motion editor and basically apply a preset that's gonna allow the snowflakes to look like they're in a, inside of a wind tunnel. All right, so uh, grabbing the slow rate first, I'm just gonna kind of click here, okay? I'm going to grab this motion tween, or no, we can just hop in the uh, motion editor, all right, I'm going to drag this up a little bit, all right, so with the slow movie clip grabbed, what we need to do is come down here to the eases, slide this up to 100, all right, and then we're going to add another ease, so if you click on this little plus sign out here, it's going to bring in some options, well, you can't really see that, let me bring this up, just going to click on this, all right, I'm going to come down here and grab this sine wave right here. All right. Now that doesn't really do anything yet, but if we come up here to the basic motion, grab this X right here on this drop down, let's come down here and select sine wave there. All right. And what I'd also like to do is down here on this three, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a five. All right. So if I drop this out of the way, you can see that it's created a little path, basically the wave for that preset. All right. All the way down to the bottom of the stage. All right. So if we come back in here, I'm going to grab the timeline, I'm going to grab the uh, medium rate, come back into the motion editor, alright, I'm going to punch this up to 100, okay, I'm going to add the sine wave again, alright, and on the uh, basic motion up here, I'm going to apply it to the x-axis, alright, and that's going to do the same thing as before, I'm going to change this to 5 again, alright, so if I drop this down, created it like this for that last one, alright, so uh, let's go ahead and hop back on to our timeline. I'm going to grab the last one, the slow rate, come back to the motion editor. Oh, I'm going to come down to the fast rate, motion editor. All right, I'm going to punch this ease up to 100. I'm going to add the sine wave. All right, on the X motion, sine wave. All right. Just like that. So if we drop this out of the way, you can see that all three of them are set up like that. All right. Yeah, I go ahead and get this out of the way. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to grab on to each of our tweens here and apply an instance name to our tweens. All right, not the movie clips, just the tweens. All right. So first, I'm going to grab this here. All right. Since my uh, layer is orange here, it's created this tween is orange, and since this is the uh, slow rate, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this. All right, I'm going to get my properties in here, and you can see that we're applying an instance name to the motion tween itself. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to say snow one. All right, I'm going to grab this next one. All right, since it's purple, the tween is purple, so I'm going to grab this purple one. I'm going to call this snow two. Okay, I'm going to come down here to the fast rate. All right, grab this tween. I'm going to call this snow three. All right, get rid of my properties. I'm gonna come out to the main timeline. Okay, so if we publish this right now, you can basically see the path that our flakes are gonna follow, all right? So that looks good. All right, so we can go ahead and hop into our action script right now. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this into the top right corner. All right. Really doesn't matter where we put that. So uh, let's go ahead and get our actions layer and pull out our actions. If you don't know how to do that, come up here to window, grab actions, and let's go ahead and put the code in here. All right. So to start this off, we have to create a constant, all right, which basically is going to be the amount of snowflakes that we want. All right. So const amount underscore of underscore snowflakes colon uint equals 300 semicolon. All right, now what const is, const is basically a constant, all right? A constant is pretty much a variable that you can only sign a value to once, all right? So to uh, give some notes, So really what this is, is the, uh, this, you know, if we were to add 500, all right, it's just going to multiply the amount of snowflakes that we have. And we'll play around with this a little bit later. I just want to uh, make sure that you know what we're doing. Okay. All right. So once we have that set up, we've got a couple variables to create. All right, one's going to be for uh, holding the data. So we're going to say var snow underscore flakes underscore array colon array equals opening straight bracket, closing straight bracket, semicolon. Now, this is basically what's going to allow us to take all of our, our data, all right, basically, I don't know, I guess uh, we're going to be able to, t all right, the data that this is going to hold is the amount of snowflakes that are going to be on the stage, all right? So basically we're going to be able to use this later on and basically take our snowflakes and put it on the stage somewhere. All right. So our next one is going to be var x underscore location colon uint equals no colon or semicolon. All right. Next line. Alright, I'm gonna lock that down. We'll lock down our flakes. Our trees are good to go. I was thinking about maybe throwing some text in here somehow, some way. Just trying to figure out what would be good to put in here. It really doesn't look bad at all. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back into the code here for a second. So that is the end of the sample video for the flash snowfall effect. To find the source files and the rest of the video tutorial, head towards masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.